welcome to the 2017 New York Film Festival Actress Roundtable. Tonight, our topic is sexual harassment in Hollywood. First, we have Oscar-winning actress and Harvard's 2017 Artist of the Year, Viola Davis. Happy to be here. Well, not happy, but you know I'm here. <laughs> Next, another Oscar winner, Marion Cotillard. How are you, Marion? I'm tiny, French, and pissed off. <laughs> And joining us again is Hollywood legend and winner of the Humphrey Bogart Good Sport Award, <laughs> the incomparable Debet Goldry. Oh, wow. Wow, what a beautiful hospital this is. <laughs> well, let's begin with the elephant in the room. In light of the news about Harvey Weinstein, have you ever experienced sexual harassment in Hollywood? Oh, but of course, yeah. Yes, absolutely. Huh, have I ever been sexually harassed? Good Friday, where do you want me to start? <laughs> well, women being harassed is Hollywood, right? Everything old is new again. Producers are abusing starlets. There's Nazis marching in the street. Suddenly nude pantyhose are on trend. I've never felt more at home. When's polio coming back? This would be fun. Now, just hours ago, it was announced that Weinstein was kicked out of the Motion Picture Academy. Did any of you have personal run-ins with Weinstein or other producers? Uh, one time, a producer asked me if I was comfortable with nudity, but it turns out he meant his own. Hmm. <laughs> one time, a producer asked me for a massage. Uh, when I refused, he threw 10 or 12 phones at me. Then I realized he was trying to knock my shirt off. Oh. <laughs> I, I actually did have one meeting with Harvey, okay? I was invited to his hotel room, and when I arrived, he was naked, hanging upside down from a monkey bar. <laughs> he tried to trick me into thinking his genitals were actually his face. <laughs> Works. The, the resemblance is uncanny. <laughs> why, why is it that you think this keeps happening? The problem is the culture. There's no accountability. Yes, I, I think uh, men either don't see it or they choose not to see it. Yeah, you're, I mean, of course, men co cover up for other men. It's a real, you scratch my back, I'll keep mum about the girl who drowned at your pool party situation. <laughs> Now, many actresses have commented that there's a whisper sis system to warn each other about potentially threatening men. Does that ring true to you? Yes, it's horrible, but yes, it's true, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Back then, we had a secret code among us actresses to warn each other about creeps. The code was, he raped me. <laughs> that way, if any men were listening, they'd tune us right out. Easy peasy. <laughs> Did you ever feel like you could go to your male co-stars for help? Huh. Well, you know, I remember I was doing two days of voiceover work on Alfred Hitchcock's The Birds. Because originally the birds were going to be funny and talk. Anyway, <laughs> Hitchcock comes in the booth, puts his whole fist in my mouth. In his defense, I was very blonde at the time. So I turned to Rod Taylor, I was like, help me out. And he shook his head. And he was like, if I can't save Tippi Hedren from having her head attacked by real birds, I'm sure as hell not saving you. Wow. <laughs> what do you think keeps women from speaking up? Women who speak up get called crazy. It seems like more people believe the moon landing was fake than believe women. Well, Violin David, I hate to break it to you, but uh, the moon landing was faked. I was in the cast. <laughs> I was Buzz Aldrin stand-in. We had the same size waist. That was a fun set. <laughs> Is it reassuring that men are starting to speak out in support of their female co-stars? Yes, you know, but I hate this. Oh, I'm upset because I'm a father of daughters. You know what? You should be upset because you're a human being. Yeah, you're right, Macaroni Copacabana. Now, <laughs> the lady in the family doesn't make you some kind of hero. I mean, even Hitler had a sister. Her name was Paula Hitler, shy girl. Clearly <laughs> she got outshone at home. And I have a daughter too, at least that's what the nuns told me before they snatched her away. Gosh, those nuns are fast. <laughs> and where do we go from here? May I speak? The violence against women, it doesn't just happen to famous actresses, it's everywhere, damn it. It's about time we take it seriously. A well, Pandora's box is open now, and Pandora's pissed. 
Who's with me? <laughs> no, I'm, I'm asking, who are these people? <laughs> I blacked out. Are, are these the angels? Is it my turn? Well, that is all the time that we have for today. I've been to the moon, you know. <laughs>